I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So, Leo, in the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. Now, this would have been a great time to play, to dream, and to have a little fun. When this card appears, it sometimes means that you are probably taking things way too seriously. Uh, you would have had to try to balance things out and not take yourself, like I said, so seriously. Uh, you probably heard the saying by a poet, and it goes something like, One thing important that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first, taking yourself, uh, taking, um, the first, taking uh, your work serious is important and taking yourself too serious, that can be a disaster. Uh, that's what a poet once said, Mar Margo 14. And, um, this poet, it reminds us that you have to know the difference, okay? And that's a page of cups. It's paired with the page of swords. Now, this is a, a court card. It can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. Um, if so, this represents a person that's younger than you, okay? Uh, the page often indicates it's a message. You receive some type of message in the recent past. In this instance, it's, it was probably something that you were not hoping to hear. Now, the Page of Swords, it tells us that uh, you could have been trying too hard, pushing too fast, or you could have been stepping on the toes of others. You probably needed to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from others. You probably had a great deal of mental and physical energy at that time, and you would have needed to use it wisely. And that's the recent past. Now, we move on to the present. We have the Queen of Swords. Now, this card can point to a female, a woman that's in your life. This woman, she's one uh, not to be played with. She can't be trifled with. She'll often have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, dark eyes, dark hair, but it could go either way. If this is not a person, this car can point to a need. There may be a need to be forceful and honest in a situation just to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down at this time about something. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you very well, you already know what it is you want and need now you just have to go after it uh, okay this queen has forceful energy which some people will probably find abrasive the queen of swords is paired with the four of pentacles it's about holding on to things people money or situations longer than is healthy or realistic now, when this card appears in a reading, it's a sure sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Also, this card points to anxiety, fear about money, and or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. The key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not and will not bring security. With these two cards paired together, the Queen of Swords, there's a female in your life or she's coming towards you. Okay, she's uh, forceful and abrasive. Okay, and if this is not someone that's coming towards you or a lady that's in your life like this, you're going to be called on to be like that. Forceful, abrasive. Uh, just cutting out things with the sword, you know, just don't have time, okay? <laughs> Whatever, it could be a situation, like I said. And it's paired with the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to things, people, money, situations. 
Okay, it looks like you were doing that. But uh, being that the Queen of Swords is here, you're cutting out people. You're no longer holding on to unhealthy, realistic things. Because you got the Queen of Swords in your reading. And uh, also, uh, if this is a person, a lady in your life that's like that, she's helping you to cut out people that you've been holding on to or situations that you've been holding on to. Okay? And they probably cause you anxiety and fear. But this woman could be your mother. She's coming in to help you cut all that mess out. Okay, and you're, you're no longer, you no longer will be feeling uh, anxious about a situation or grasping on to certain situations um, that's not healthy for you. Like I said, I hate to repeat myself, you got the Queen of Swords, it's going to be cut out. Whether it's you doing it with a forceful energy or some lady in your life or coming towards you, uh, they're going to help you cut out all that mess and your anxiety will be gone. Okay? And that's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords is a card that signifies a break or a need for, for a break from normal life. This can mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal is likely... Well, it's not likely. So take a look at the picture so I can help explain it better. See how he's on the ground and he's got all these swords around him? Four of them. Okay, so this can mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal, it's not, it's not likely to be permanent. It also occasionally could mean illness or time in the hospital or even more rarely a rare instance of time in jail something could be something like that now this is going to be a signifier to give people their space you're in need of some time and space to yourself others could be pushing too hard for bits and pieces of your attention and time don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself and to just say no. On the other side, when others say no to you, take them at their word. If you push in this circumstance, it's going to be asking for trouble. And that's a four of swords, and it's paired with a chariot. Now, the chariot is about a lot of energy. It's not a free-for-all energy. It's not. It's directed. It's controlled. It has a goal in mind. When this card appears, you're more than likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you are willing to do to make them come true. Overall, this card it points to determination and, and ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should be, or it's a sign that you should. Yeah, you should move forward to whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot at this time. Remember, though, that you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. With these two cards paired together, uh, the Four of Swords, you need a break. Okay? Uh, it can mean someone in your life, they could take a break from you. They may withdraw. Uh, they may ghost you for a time. Okay, but it's not permanent. Just keep that in mind. It's not permanent, it's just a break. Uh, now, I mentioned illness. It could mean illness or time in the hospital. Now, illness, uh, don't let your head run wild with that word, illness. It could just be a cold, um, you know, that you need to go to the doctor and see just to get some flu shots. It could be something, some type of simple illness like that, okay? Okay, but you're in the need for a break or someone in your life needs that break, okay? And like I said, it's just temporary and it's paired with the chariot card. Okay, the chariot card, you're going to have to use your intellect and your heart 
in order to be successful with this break. Okay? So, it's a directed, the chariot, like I said, is directed and control energy. It's a lot of energy. Okay? It has a goal in mind. And it involves, it involves your hopes and dreams and what you're willing to do to make them come true. So to come out of this withdrawal period that you have or, or to help your partner or your friend come out of this draw, withdrawal period, taking a break, uh, you're going to be successful with it if you take that energy that you have with the chariot and you direct it and you control it and you, you focus, focus it uh, in a goal-oriented way, okay? In this way, your hopes and dreams, uh, they'll come true with whatever you need to do to come out of this withdrawal period, okay? Basically, what I'm saying is that, okay, this time away, it's temporary, but you're going to uh, have to withdraw just to come out of it successfully, Okay, and you're going to have a lot of energy, though, but it's not free for all. Okay, so use your intellect and your heart to be successful at this time. Okay, it's about this, uh, determination and ambition. So you're going to be, have to be very determined and ambition to get through this withdrawal period that's, um, that you're dealing with. Like I said, it could be you withdrawing. Or someone ghosted you, or someone uh, just took a break from you. Okay, so that's what you're going to need to do just to come through it successfully. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. Ask yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication is very clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk at this time? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. That's the Five of Cups. And it's paired with injustice. Now, justice deals with karma and law of cause and effect. It's going to be important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself at this time unnecessarily. If you are directly involved in something like a court case, uh, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. That's a justice card. And with these two cards paired together, the Five of Cups, be careful which, where you put your focus. Okay? Uh, you're going to have to ask yourself, are you going to cry over the spilt milk or are you going to focus on what you still have and then get on with your life? Okay, so you got some kind of some type of karma that's that's hitting you in the face. It's coming back to you. Something you did maybe years ago. It's coming back ten times. You know how they say karma does. It just doesn't come back to you. It comes back to you stronger. So you're gonna have to use the five of cups and remember. Not to focus on what's what's happening because of this karma that's coming back to you, but focus on, on uh, something that um, will take you to a place that reminds you to move on, actually, to get on with things. Whatever happened, it happened, and now you need to get on with things. Don't uh, cry over spilt milk, which is whatever karma that's coming back to you. It could be good. Sometimes you get good karma. 
and uh, sometimes you get karma that you don't want. Okay, but karma, like I said, it comes back stronger. It's coming back to you at this time. So, if it's good karma, and it, it kind of sounds like it's kind of karma that you might not want. Okay, it may not be anything drastic. It could just be something that's coming back to you that, uh, something you did a long time ago, and now you're feeling the repercussions of it. Okay, so don't cry about it. Just let it spill, and then go in the refrigerator and get the milk that's, that hasn't spilled, or just change, change, change it to water. You know, just do something different. Take a different approach. Don't cry on what happened, and um, get on with things. Okay, so that's going to be the outcome. So, Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day.